What's up coffee explorers? So in this video we're gonna have a little bit of flair. Check it out. Hey, how's it going everybody? So this is my first coffee uh, video since being back in the United States. While I was gone, uh, there was a Kickstarter campaign for a manual and portable espresso machine. It's called the Flare Neo. It's right here. It's awesome. Comes in this really cool carrying case. Yeah, I haven't used it yet, so uh, let's check it out together. All right, so it looks like we got quite a lot of stuff in here. Let's see, I'm not even sure what all this stuff is. This looks like it's probably the base to put a shot glass. Um, we got some hardware and uh, Allen wrench here. Let's see here, this looks like a, probably a tamper. I'm not sure what this piece is. <laughs> Let's see, what do we got here? This looks like... This must be the portafilter. Uh, it comes with an extra, an extra filter plate here. And... Boy, I don't even... I don't even know. Let's see. Okay. Got another filter plate. Another port filter, another filter plate, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not entirely sure what's going on here. <laughs> this is fun. All right, so then we got the lever mechanism. That's a protect it, and then we've got the base here, and. Uh, <laughs> It's a, a business card. It says, Hi, I'm George. Che I checked and packed your flare to ensure it's quality. Yes, I'm a human. So if you notice anything wrong, please reach out. All right, so there's that. So this is the Flare Neo. Uh, it's not like the Flare Pro, but I'm guessing. Oh, man. This thing. Let's put this carrying case up here out of the way. So let's move this over here. And of course it doesn't come with any directions. <laughs> That's fun. You would think that it would have directions. But let's see. We've got that put into place. Um, man, I don't know what's going on here. So I would imagine that there and then put that there I don't get it let's see supposedly oh yes so you use your tan My dog, my, my deceased dog must be here because shit's going flying. Alright, so this is a piston that you put in the top here. And then that should, you fill that with coffee, you put that there, put that there, push it down so that the mechanism will hit it. And then you push that and that should make your espresso okay I think we got this figured out use the tamper here Woo! <laughs> oh 
all the fun in the world here. All right, so let's make some espresso with this thing. So uh, I got about 18 grams of, uh, I ground it a little bit more coarse than an espresso grind. Don't really want to do an espresso grind with this because since you're doing it manually, uh, it compacts really good and it makes it so the water is kind of hard to get through. So let's go ahead and fill the, fill this full here, or not full, but fill it up a bit. Tamp it. Just like you would any espresso. Alright. So now, that, and we're going to go ahead and put the brew chamber on there. Fill it up to the fill line that's in there. It's really cool that they didn't give us any instructions, I can tell you that. And then you add the, the piston piece. And then put it in there. And then slowly compress. I've right, already got some coffee running down into the shot glass there. Don't know if you can see it or not. If I had more cameras, I'd be able to show it to you. Also, I got this uh, this Bonavita uh, kettle, and uh, let me know in the comments if you'd like me to review that as well. It seems to be a pretty awesome little kettle. It's my first gooseneck I've ever had. Yeah, I don't know. I may have, may have done something wrong with this one. I, I'm not really getting any crema or anything like that. But again, this is the first time I've ever used this machine, so... But we are getting coffee, and that's what really matters, right? <laughs> So, here we go, smells good, cheers, hmm, wow, it's, that actually is pretty good, I, maybe it was just a little bit watery, but it's got that, uh, that, you know, that, that citrusy kick in the, in the mouth that you get from a, from a good espresso. It's, it's, it's there. There's not a whole lot of crema, but there's a little bit. Mm. This actually makes a pretty decent espresso. I think if I was to put a little bit more coffee in, uh, uh, in before I tamp it down like that, I think it would be a little bit better. Um, I might even go ahead and make my, my grind a little less coarse, a little bit finer, but not quite to that point where it is an espresso grind. But uh, yeah, I'm actually really impressed by this little uh, manual machine. And the cool thing is it comes in a carrying case. You can take it anywhere you want. So it's perfect for a traveling coffee person. <laughs> and this is the Traveling Coffee Guy channel. So it is perfect for me. Paid $89 for this Flare Neo is what it's called on the Kickstarter campaign, but I think after the campaign, I think they bumped it up to $129. I'm not entirely sure on that, uh, but yeah, I think for the price and what it does, it's way, it's a way better idea for somebody who doesn't want to go out and spend like. 
$500 to $3,000 on an espresso machine to make espresso at home. So uh, definitely if you want a cheap option for making espresso, this is it. It's not going to make like a perfect uh, uh, cafe quality espresso for you, but it's definitely going to make a good espresso. So if this video has been of any value to you, uh, please go ahead and give it a like, subscribe to my channel, comment below, let me know if you think there's any, any better options out there or what you would do uh, for, for an espresso option at home or to take with you. Uh, I want to know about these products, so yeah, comment below, let me know about them. But as always, sip exquisitely. If you found any value or entertainment in this video, I would definitely, definitely appreciate it if you were to give the video a like and maybe even subscribe to my channel and uh, share it with your friends. It would definitely help me with the algorithm. That would be awesome. Thanks.